Hello, my precious friends. I really hope that you're doing great. Welcome to today's class. It's our 12th lesson on a given form 3 mathematics topic called approximations and errors. So we are looking at our 14th example, which reads that given that X exists within the limits of 6 and 8 and Y exists within the limits of 2 and 5, find the absolute error in x plus y divided by x minus y so of course this one is a quotient or a division so to get the absolute error in the quotient we need to have the maximum possible quotient and also the a minimum possible quotient so to get the maximum a possible quotient this should be given by uh, the maximum possible uh, numerator so we'll get the maximum possible uh, numerator then of course we'll divide with the minimum a possible denominator so divided by uh, the minimum possible uh, denominator so remember that uh, whenever you divide uh, a large number divided by a small number the division or the quotient will always be uh, the largest therefore to get the maximum possible a uh, numerator because the numerator consists of the values of x and y i will be forced to take the uh, maximum possible value of x then of course we add the uh, maximum possible uh, value of y so this will give us the maximum possible uh, numerator of this particular question then of course to get the uh, minimum possible denominator because this is a difference we'll be forced to take the minimum possible uh, value of x then of course we subtract with the maximum uh, possible value of y so this will give us the smallest possible uh, difference so this will be equal to now when i substitute the actual uh, values the maximum possible value of x of course was positive 8 so this will be 8 then of course plus the maximum possible value of y was 5 so plus 5 then of course divided by to get the minimum possible denominator i'll take the minimum possible uh, value of x which of course is a uh, positive 6 then I subtract uh, the maximum possible value of y of course which is positive uh, 5 so this is gonna give me 8 plus 5 I'll get positive 13 divided by 6 minus 1 I'll get 1 so 13 divided by 1 I'm going to get 13 as the maximum possible uh, quotient now from there I also need the minimum uh, possible quotient to get the minimum possible quotient will be now be the reverse of the uh, maximum possible quotient so i'll need the minimum uh, possible numerator the minimum possible uh, numerator then of course divided by the maximum possible uh, denominator so divided by the maximum uh, possible denominator so remember that uh, whenever you take the smallest value divided by the largest value you will always get the uh, smallest possible division or the smallest or the minimum possible uh, quotient now for me to get the minimum possible uh, numerator i'll be forced to use uh, the minimum possible value of x and the minimum possible value of y so i'll have x minimum then of course plus uh, the y uh, minimum this will give me uh, the minimum possible numerator then to get the maximum possible uh, denominator i'll be forced to use uh, the maximum possible uh, value of x then of course uh, minus the minimum possible uh, value of y so this will give me uh, the maximum possible uh, difference of that particular uh, quotient now when i substitute the actual values this is what i'm gonna get so q minimum will be equal to uh, the minimum possible value of x of course was positive 6 huh? so i'll take 6 then plus the minimum possible value of y of course was a uh, positive 2 uh, then divided by uh, the maximum possible value of x was positive 8 uh, then minus the minimum possible value of y of course uh, was positive 2 so this will give me 6 plus 2 i'm gonna get positive 8 divided by 8 minus 2 this one will give me positive 6 if i divide through by 2 this will give me 4 divided by 2 this will give me 3 therefore 
at the minimum possible quotient will actually be 4 over 3. So 4 over 3 is the minimum possible uh, quotient. Now, the question wanted me to get the absolute error in the quotient. Now, remember, for me to get the absolute error, the absolute error in the quotient, absolute error in the quotient, absolute error in the quotient, uh, this, of course, will be given by a half of the maximum possible quotient, so Q maximum, then, of course, minus uh, the minimum possible uh, quotient. So this will be equal to, I'll take a half of, uh, my maximum possible quotient was given by uh, 13. So this was the maximum possible quotient. So I'll take 13 minus the minimum possible quotient was 4 over 3. So minus 4 over uh, 3. So this will give me a half of, if you take 13 minus 4 over 3, this will give you 35 over 3. So this is 35 over 3. So, of course, if uh, I take a half multiplied by 35 over 3, I'm going to get 35 uh, over 6. 35 over 6 as my absolute error in this particular uh, quotient. Therefore, absolute error in the quotient will be given by, uh, so this will be 5 whole number, uh, 5 over 6. 5 over 6, which can be approximated to four significant figures as... 5.8 uh, 5.833 this one is correct to four significant figures so this is the absolute error in this particular uh, quotient next we look at our example number 15 which reads that if a is equals to 8 and b is equals to 3 find the percentage error in calculating a minus b uh, over b it's a question worth uh, four marks now, for us to get this, we'll uh, start by getting the absolute error uh, in each of the individual values. So we get the absolute error, absolute uh, error, the absolute error in the value of A and B, in A and B, uh, will be given by, because A and B are both whole numbers, the absolute error will just be a half of uh, the smallest possible uh, unit that can be measured, of course, which is 1. So this will give us 0. Point are five so that means there are limits within which the values of a and b are going to exist so a will exist within the limits of the actual value of a was uh, actually a uh, positive eight so i'll take eight so the maximum possible value and the minimum possible value to get the maximum possible value i'll take eight plus 0 0.5 which is the absolute error in a and b so eight plus 0 0.5 of course this will give me 8.5 then the minimum possible value, I'll take 8 minus 0 0.5, which is going to give me a 7.5. Then I'll also get the absolute error, uh, that is the limits within which the value of B exists. Now our B, the actual value was 3, so the maximum value will be 3 uh, plus the absolute error in 3. Of course, the it will be 3 plus 0 0.5, which will be 3.5. Then the minimum possible value of 3 will be 3 minus 0 0.5, which will give us... 2.5 therefore these are the limits within which a and b of course exists now to get the percentage error we shall need what we call the absolute uh, error in the quotient so and of course to get the absolute error we need the maximum possible uh, quotient of course the maximum possible quotient will be given by the maximum possible uh, numerator the maximum uh, possible numerator then we are going to divide with the minimum possible uh, numerator so divided by the minimum uh, possible denominator the minimum denominator so this should give us the uh, maximum possible quotient you take the largest numerator uh, divided by the minimum denominator so this will be given by so my numerator had the values of a and b which of course is a difference huh? so to get the maximum possible uh, difference i'll be forced to use the minimum possible value of a minus the maximum possible uh, value of b so this is what will give me uh, the maximum possible uh, difference now to get my maximum difference i'll have to interchange the values huh? the maximum difference i'll take a maximum so the maximum possible value of a minus the minimum possible value of b this is what will give me the maximum possible uh, difference of the numerator then, of course, in the denominator, I'm just having one value of B. 
So I need the minimum possible value of B. So I'll use B minimum. I'll use B minimum. So if I substitute the actual values, I'm going to have the following. So A maximum was uh, 8.5. So I'll take 8.5, uh, then minus B minimum. B minimum was uh, 2.5. So minus 2.5. Uh, then the whole of this I'm going to divide with the minimum possible value of B uh, was actually 2.5. So I'll divide this with uh, 2.5. So this is going to give me 8.5 minus 2.5. I'm going to get 6 uh, divided by 2.5. So 6 divided by 2.5. You fit this on the calculator. You're going to get 2.4 as the uh, maximum possible uh, quotient for this particular case. Then I also need the minimum uh, possible quotient, so Q minimum. To get the minimum possible quotient, I'll need uh, the minimum uh, possible numerator, the minimum numerator, uh, minimum possible numerator, then divided by the maximum possible denominator. So divided by uh, the maximum denominator, the maximum denominator. So um, this is gonna give me the following so to get the minimum numerator i'll have to use a minimum i'll take the minimum possible value of a then minus a that is minus b maximum so b uh maximum so this will give me the smallest uh possible difference so this will be a minimum minus b maximum then of course on the denominator i'm just having one value of b so i i need the maximum possible denominator so i'll use b uh, maximum so if i substitute the actual values i'm gonna get the following so a uh, minimum was actually 7.5 uh, so i'll take 7.5 uh, then minus b maximum was 3.5 so minus 3.5 then of course the whole of this i'm gonna divide with uh, the maximum possible value of b of course was uh, 3.5 so this was the maximum b so 7.5 minus 3.5 i'm gonna get a 4 then divided by 3.5 so of course this one when you feed on the calculator this will give you uh 8 over 7 so 8 over 7 will be the minimum possible quotient now from this point i need something we call the absolute error the absolute uh error in the quotient absolute error in the quotient uh absolute error in the quotient remember if it was multiplication we will have said the absolute error in the uh, product uh. so division is usually a quotient uh. so this one will take simply a half of uh q maximum a half of q maximum minus q uh minimum where q is standing in for uh the word quotient so if i substitute uh my values I'm going to get the absolute error in the quotient being equal to a half of so q maximum was actually 2.4 so i'm gonna take uh 2.4 then minus q minimum was 8 over 7 so this is over 8 over 7 so if i divide this i'm gonna get a half uh, into 2.4 minus 8.7 this will give us 44 uh over 35 so this is 44 over 35 then of course uh, multiplied by a half this will give me a uh, 22 that is when we simplify of course 2 will go here 1 2 into 44 it will go here 22 so my simplified answer will be 22 over 35 22 over 35 is the absolute error in the quotient now to get the percentage error i also need something we call the uh the actual quotient so the actual quotient i can simply denote it as q actual uh, the actual quotient will be given by a uh, actual value the actual value of a or the true value of a minus b the true value or the actual uh, value or the exact value then divided by uh, the actual value of b so divided by b uh, actual so this will be equal to the actual value of a of course was uh, 8 so this is 8 minus the actual value of b of course was just 3 uh, then divided by the actual value of b was actually uh, 3 so divided by 3 
So these will give me 8 minus 3. Of course, I'll get 5 over uh, 3. So this is the true value or the exact value or the actual uh, quotient. Now, for me to get the percentage error in my quotient, so uh, I'll have to get the percentage error in the quotient. Of course, it will be given by uh, the following uh, formula. So the percentage error, uh, percentage error in the quotient, percentage error in the quotient, uh, in the quotient will be given by uh, the error, that is the absolute error, the absolute error in the quotient, absolute error in the quotient, absolute error in the quotient, uh, divided by the actual uh, quotient, then of course multiplied by 100%. Therefore, percentage error, percentage error in our quotient, percentage error in our quotient will be equal to absolute error in the quotient was given by 22 over 35. So this is 22 over 35. Then the whole thing divided by uh, the actual uh, quotient was giving us 5 over 3. So divided by 5 over 3, then of course multiplied by 100%. Uh, percent. So this will give us uh, 22 over 35 uh, divided by a uh, 5 over 3 if you fit that on the calculator of course uh, the whole thing then of course multiplied by a hundred uh, percent this is gonna give you 37 uh, 37 whole number uh, 5 over 7 37 whole number 5 over uh, 7 percent so this is the percentage error that was committed in that particular quotient Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you very much.